Hello, did you know I have a Gumroad page where I'm selling a bunch of filters? If not, check it out, links in the description. I also have a Patreon where you can get them at a discounted rate and support the channel. Thank you. Welcome to another show, I'm Sid, and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to face zoom. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so here we are, new project, 2D mode, view the patch editor, organize yourself, and away we go. Make this even just a little bit bigger, cause why not? First thing we're gonna do, Right click, add canvas. Inside the canvas, you wanna add a rectangle. Now we're gonna take that rectangle, fill the width, fill the height, add a material, rename it, rectangle, and change the shader type to flat. Next up, we're gonna add a new object. That's gonna be a face tracker. It will appear here, not as a nested object in your canvas, but underneath it. Now we're gonna take our face tracker and drag it inside the patch editor. That'll create these three patches here. Face finder, connected to a face select, which allows us to, as you probably guessed, select which face we'll be tracking. And then here is the actual face tracker app with outputs for the position, scale, rotation, and the face itself. So that's pretty handy. I'll just move them up here. Now the trigger for this effect is gonna be the openness of the mouth. So from the face output here, we're gonna add a mouth open patch. And we're gonna connect from this openness output here to an add patch. And we're gonna take this add and convert it from a number here to a vector two, which means that we can adjust the input values for the X and Y coordinates. And what the add patch basically does is take these two values, the first value here, which is the input from the mouth openness patch, and the second value here, and outputs them through this and into whatever patch we add next, which in this case will be a 2D transform pack. So connect up your 2D transform pack. And this has a few options here. We're gonna take the translation input that it's connected to, and we're gonna move this down to scale. So our output from the add is gonna go into the scale input of our 2D transform pack. And the scale is what's gonna cause the zoom effect when we actually activate that. So now from our 2D transform pack, we wanna connect this output here to a texture transform, which is here and you'll see this error show up at first but if we take the output here and move it from this texture input to this transform input that will fix that you still can't see the person though we haven't been able to see our person this whole time so what we're going to do next is take the camera texture which is up here under the camera in our scene select texture extraction that will create this camera texture asset we're going to drag that inside of our patch editor and we're going to connect from rgba output to the texture input of our texture transform patch. Now we need to connect up our final output. So this rectangle here, we're gonna create a patch for the shader diffuse texture. And we're going to connect the output of our texture transform to the input of our rectangle. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit messed up, but we do have a guy there somewhere in the corner. There he is, <laughs> looking a little bit strange. So what I'm gonna do now is come back to our add here, and I'm gonna change the second values from zero to one. And what that's going to do is scale it back up to be the full size of our display. And now when our character opens his mouth, you'll see that there's a slight zoom. Unfortunately, it's not quite centered yet. And I can switch over to the FaceTime camera. You'll be able to see that a little bit better. Okay, so here we are. And when I open my mouth, you'll see it is zooming in, but it's zooming in towards the bottom right corner. So we need to fix that. We're going to do that by changing the pivot point here in our 2D transform pack. So right now the X and Y values are set at zero and zero. But if we change those to 0.5, you see it already centered it here on the x-axis and if we change this one to 0.5 then it centers it along the y-axis as well so now when we zoom in by opening our mouth it's zooming in in the center which is exactly the effect that we're after and like with all the tutorials i show you it's worth playing around with these values to see what you can create so the second value here you could change from one to two and that will zoom everything in a little bit so you can start kind of zoomed in and then when you open your mouth it zooms in even more or you can change the rotation here, so you could have it be at 90 degrees if you wanted. I don't know why you would. Or 45 degrees maybe, if you wanted a slight offset. It does have this warping effect around the edge, but, you know, worth playing around, seeing what kind of effects you can create. You can even do some weird stuff. So if we wanted, we could add a loop animation here uh, and connect that up to a transition. If we make that transition vector 3, change that to a vector 2. So now it works with this X and Y value here on our add. We can connect that up here and it kind of warps it around we can mirror it and now it'll zoom in and out still with the zoom effect when you open your mouth but kind of trippy huh you can add other patches that change the color or do other weird things you can even add a second loop animation maybe if you wanted from here uh, you can make that a number instead and you could connect this transition up to the rotation so you could change the end number here to 45 and now you get this kind of very bizarre looking effect. 
that still zooms in when you open your mouth and tries to center the pivot point around 0 0.5. So that's a little bit strange. But yeah, I'll undo all that. I'll get rid of these for now. And we'll go back to the default one. So when we open our mouth, we zoom in. It's quite a long string of patches. It's quite hard to show you all in one setup. But basically we have the face trackers here. So this object, face tracker, dragged into the patch editor, creates the face finder, face select, and face tracker patches. We've connected from the face output here to the mouth open patch. And from the openness output here, we've got an add, which combines the input value from the mouth openness to the second value that we input ourselves. That goes into this 2D transform pack, which is how we affect the scale rotation and pivot points and all that kind of stuff. That goes into this texture transform, which we've connected up to the camera texture and our rectangle diffuse texture. So combined, if I was to undo this, for example, it would just go back to a white screen. If I was to undo this, it would go to a white screen. So these two connect inside of here and work together to output all of the data that we've collected from the mouth openness patch, the add, and the 2D transform. So hopefully that makes sense to some of you. I'll try and organize this just a little bit, give you a better sense of what's happening. Maybe you can see it all in one place. There you go. So hopefully you like the tutorial. You can actually find a text version of this tutorial on the Spark AR website, but it's very difficult to navigate. Even their learning resources aren't that well structured. So I thought it would be fun to make this into a video. It's quite a simple effect, but as I've shown you, you can do some trippy weird stuff with it. I make it into something pretty unique. I even have a tutorial on how to make your head big when you open your mouth and stay big until you open your mouth for a second time. So I'll link that up above and you can check that out if you're interested. It's quite a popular one on my profile on Instagram. So maybe you can do something with that as well. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to like the video, share it wherever you think people might be interested in watching it. If you want to see more tutorials, subscribe to the channel, check out the playlist that I've got. There's over 100 videos on this channel now, I think. I'm not 100% sure. We might be getting close to 100, actually, but not quite there yet. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>